What's up guys, it's the Nobby Wood. Today I'm gonna show you how to draw M. Bison from Street Fighter. Let's get into it. The first thing I like to do before drawing any retro character is doing a little research. And the things that I'm looking for when I do my research our silhouette to get the shape of the character and a color scheme so we can figure out what colors work with this character and as you can see M. Bison is a big guy and he's working with a lot of reds now that we have our research out of the way it's time to start laying down the basic shapes and pencils I like to start with the torso first before doing the head and the arms and once I have the torso figured out it's a lot easier to lay in the head and the arms proportionally Wait until after you have your shapes figured out before you start adding details. That way, you don't have to go back and erase anything. Now that we've worked out everything in pencil first, we can go back over it with ink. At this point, it's all kind of mechanical, so just put on your favorite podcast or music and just go with the flow. A lot of times I like to do all the line work first before I go in and fill in all the dark blacks, but on this one I filled in the boot at first just to kind of show you how it would work out. And now that all the lines are done, it's time to fill in those dark blacks. After the inks, I like to erase all the pencil lines just so I can go in there and color it a lot easier. There's no one way to color an image, but the way that works best for me is to start with my lightest colors first and then add shadows on top of those. For M. Bison, I just wanted to go ahead and get all the reds out of the way, but there's a little blue in there as well. After that, I like to go in and do the metal texture. For metal, I like to use two different grays, a lighter and a darker, and then use the natural white highlight. I use the white highlight for the skin tone as well, and then just go in very subtly with a couple of darker tones on the skin. One last thing to color are the shadows on the red. I went in there with a darker burgundy. That's all it really takes. You don't want to overdo it too much. Make sure you sign every piece. People need to know where your art came from. As an added bonus, I'm going to show you guys real quickly how to draw his face from the front. First, you start with two lines on the side. Curve it up on the top, make some ears, and then we're adding this lid for his hat. We'll get the cheekbones, go in there, add his nose. Now we're going in with his eyes. Go back on there on the brim of the hat. For his mouth, I like to draw the shape of maybe like an Xbox 360 controller or something. And then I kind of bump in the teeth on the sides there. Alright, bring his jawline down. He's got a big round chin. There's his collar. Distinguish his face from his neck a little bit more. Add the skull on the cap. And then after that, all we gotta do is a nice little shape around the edge. And voila! M. Bison from the front. A quick little bonus tip for you. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. For more retro gaming and how to draw videos, subscribe and hit the bell. Well, that's about it for now. I'll see you guys next time.